hi good afternoon we are here today at um, Wembley Park and um, we are here today to do some demonstration we are doing a huge protest and um, against what's what's going on already here in Brent which is housing shortage shortages and and, um, and the rising of r rents like private renting it's like it's absurd it's, it's, it's raised since last year third percentage which is absolutely we cannot we cannot tolerate it's really 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 bad and for that reason there's a um, negative impact which is an um, overcrowding people that are overcrowded I've been visited so many different families who are living in very overcrowded places you know they are like four five six and they are living in one bed Room, one bedroom some of them two and there are maybe eight you know six kids and the father and the plus the father and the mother and the problem they face is some of them they have a health issue because obviously they are overcrowded and the dam are mold and and um, the living space that is very very minimum the child cannot study and uh, because of that when he goes to school he he feels he feels really depressed or she feels or he feels depressed because he cannot and um, he cannot participate in the class in, in the classroom and uh, and oh, and and because of that as well they some of them they have a mental breakdown it's, it's heavy on families it's very heavy on families some of them they work through two to three jobs believe me and still they cannot afford to live here in the brand and we are asking today after here we are marching and going to and uh, in front of the civic center the brand council to ask please we need we need the government the government to look and to build more housing social housing for a uh, family or uh, and even even for, for again so sorry. I think the, the other thing is like the, the children who were living in overcrowded places who and they they struggled some of them they succeed hardly you know and um, whatever the cost was and they came out and um, you know better in like they struggled very hard and they worked really hard and they succeed they went to university and after that they found a beautiful very the job that they really are happy for but again guess what guys they cannot face the world they cannot go out and open market and face this hideous hideous high rising and market they cannot have their own home they cannot because of an um, of of the rising, rising cost so they are in within again within that overcrowded places and they 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 got depressed because really i went to study i went to uni i went i done everything i struggled so much i might keep struggling now because some of them they are there into the same place that they were born into that overcrowded place and they are over 30 or maybe even over 25 over 30 and they say oh, what's the future what's the future is holding what is what's the future holding for us so they've worked hard they've done everything they're supposed to do yes but they still have to stay in an overcrowded home in because overcrowded, they can't afford overcrowded, overcrowded places without any privacy and you know and lack of lack of a uh, place to even sleep because now they become yeah. so your your your, your son your son is, your son is a mature man yeah my son is a mature man and and he has he is very he's very like he has a you know a very good job but again that job payment cannot allow him to go out and, 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 and rent a place for his own. This is a, this is this is a very and uh, huge crisis for everybody, for everybody. So we are here today to just you know uh, vo voice our our words out to the government to say, please, we need your help. We need to prioritize and um, people like working working families and and even working youngsters and even and um, and even. It's, there are some uh, even patients who they don't even have their own they are you know they are very like they are scared what can we do everyone here is scared everyone and the important thing is like when you have the place it's just a sustainable unworried place to live everything else come, comes together everything else comes to place together so
Thank you. Yeah, there are a lot. I mean, like, and uh, the problems are not only that. I mean, the problems are vast and very big. And and uh, the thing is, if you have sustainable and uh, social housing that you can go out and work and come back home, and you know you can pay and uh, and the rent because it's as uh, an affordable. Then you can pay your bills, and then you can because the thing is, we are very very struggling. Most of most of the family they are struggling even to put food on the table. What do you think of the council saying that if you can't afford it in Brent, you should move away to somewhere cheaper? I, I think I think that is an injustice to, to to say that to us to the family and uh, who are really really struggling and working working really really hard just because I think they want to build you know and um, Skype 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 and. Um, uh, very tall buildings and, and they are introducing obviously to business and um, they are like and they are not they are not taking into consideration the families who are here to support their children who are here to work really really hard to and um, to be the Im what would be the impact on families if you had to move, if you had no choice but had to go to another yes, part of the country. It's very, very hard. It's very hard. Some of them, most of them, they have their workplace here and, and they can, if they move, they're going to be like, they don't, they're going to lose their jobs. And again, that's another pro problem. And uh, children who are doing the air levels, the GCSE, uh, some of them, they are in uni here in London. And, and, um, and some youngsters who now they are they finish the university or maybe even and you know they they have uh, for for them they have a sustainable job and they are very looking up for the future how can you say instead of motivating them and say like you know what work hard and ask the government we're going to support you because we want to have an, uh, a better society in the, he, especially here in Bet, better society who will and uh, fulfill their job who will and um, raise children who can even come back to us as a community overall here in Brent and build this and um, and uh, community. This beautiful and uh, community based multicultural and, 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 and uh, here in Brent. so if you could sum up in one sentence your message to Brent Council. Affordability, that's my first thing. Affordability, affordability, affordability. We want more social homes for families, for youngsters who, who are very enthusiastic, who they are saying themselves, I want to live and I, I want to live in an affordable place that I can be proud of and I want to pay. I want to pay because I have a sustainable job. But again, and uh, if the housing and um, costs are rising, it's, go it's going to be a disaster overall. Thank you very much, Miss Mama. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Pleasure.